Okay, let's get started on this lab on RIP. Uh, make both routers make the connection between the Raynet re network and the internet. Enable and set IP address on LAN interface of each router to be the first assignable IP of each subnet. So let's start here with the HQ router. Now for the sake of time, I did configure these two IP addresses beforehand. So let's go to the first, I believe they're both fast ethernet zero zero. Yeah. So let's say fast ethernet, oops, interface fast ethernet zero zero, IP address. And we have the slash 29 network. And it's the first assignable IP. So that one's pretty easy. I'll copy this, make it easier. So a slash 29 is a 248. And let's no shut that. All right, and that's it for that router. Let's go over here to the branch router. And we'll do inner base fast ethernet zero zero IP address for this one is eighty one. a mask of 28 which is a 240 and no shut that all right so the LAN IPs are done for the LAN interfaces enable the serif interface on each router and set the IP address on each interface as this okay so branch router since we're already in it and let's do that Face serial zero zero zero. Let me see here. Yeah, so we need to set okay. HDLC as encapsulation and set the clock rate as sixty four kilobits on the branch side. All right. Let's no shut it. Let's set encapsulation first, HDLC, and then we'll set the clock rate as 64,000. And then we'll set the IP address. It's 98, so it's the first IP, 98.83.165.0.0.0. With a thirty mass two five two. Um since we're here, let's go ahead and do rip set router set rip as routing protocol to let each router connect with host one and host two and set the default route on each router to let both host one host one and host two connect to the online server. All right, so let's exit out of here and do rip first. So then we'll do router rip. And then we want version two. And we want no auto summary. And our network is 98.0.0.0. Um, that should be it for RIP. Let's do the default route, IP route, zero, 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 zero. Now, because I've done this lab before, I know that to complete the lab, they want to use the interface, not the IP address for the 
default route. So that one goes to serial 000. zero, zero. All right, we'll come back to that. Let's go to the HQ router. Get our serial interfaces done. Serial interface, serial zero, 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 and we need the IP address is the last IP, so 98.83.165. Dot seventy four two five two slash thirty. No, shut that. All right, and the next interface zero one zero. Did that go through? No, it's no, shut that. And we we'll do IP address. IP address this is going to be the last IP of fifty two dot nine dot two three six dot that would be twenty two. All right, we no shut that one. We need to set rip router rip version two, no auto summary. And the network is another 98. Uh, oh, we have to do our default route. IP route zero 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 and what is this interface zero one zero to SE zero one zero so if we do a show uh, IP interface brief Okay, we're assigned. We should be able to do a show IP protocols. Routing protocols rip. I'm sending our updates. Okay. Let's do it over here. All right. Everything's looking good there. We should also be able to do show rip events. Show IP rip events. Oh, database. So we can see here that we are learning it via this router over here. So we should be good. Uh, set default route. Let's do some double checking here. Let's ping 98.83.165.70. Okay, so we can ping host one. Let's try pinging the server. All right, and that's it for this lab. We're showing 100% completion. So that's it for this one.